The U.S. government believes that China's defense minister Li Shangfu is the subject of an investigation by Beijing and has been relieved of his duties. It is the latest sign of potential turmoil in Beijing after Chinese Foreign Minister Qin Gang inexplicably disappeared and was ousted from his post in July. China also replaced the leadership of its rocket force, the army unit that oversees its nuclear arsenal, in July, with the former commander Li Yuxiao not seen in public for weeks before this change. Li Shangfu travelled to Russia in August to attend a security conference near Moscow on August 15th. Two days later, the government of Belarus released a handout of photographs of Li meeting with the Belarusian president Lukashenko in Minsk. Li has refused to hold meetings with the US counterparts until Washington lifts sanctions on him, imposed by then-President Donald Trump in 2018 for procurement of Russian military technology. The Financial Times reported that three U.S. officials as well as two people briefed on intelligence said that Washington determined Li Shangfu had been stripped of his duties as minister. What made President Joe Biden's administration conclude that Li was under investigation is still unclear. The White House has not publicly addressed the matter. The report came shortly before high-ranking diplomat Ram Emanuel, the U.S. ambassador to Japan, stated on social media that Li hasn't been seen or heard from in weeks. Emmanuel added that the minister might have been placed under house arrest. The envoy has been openly critical of Chinese President Xi Jinping. He fueled speculation about the issue on September 7th and again one week later. On Thursday, in another post on his official ambassador account that appeared to openly provoke the Xi government, he questioned whether Beijing authorities restricted Li's movements. Emmanuel is a former White House chief of staff who earned a reputation in Washington for his ferocious style and hardball politics. He is no stranger to controversy. Emmanuel's tenure as the Chicago mayor was littered with missteps for which he has been condemned over the course of several years now. Apart from his problematic stance on, police, on policing, Emmanuel was responsible for closing half of the city's mental health clinics in 2012 during his first year in office. He actively tried to stop former U.S. President Barack Obama from pushing forward with the Affordable Care Act when he was chief of staff. Emmanuel received public backlash for his handling of Laquan McDonald's murder by the police. Reports suggest he actively worked to stop the video of the officer who fired 16 shots into McDonald, a 17-year-old black teenager, from coming out publicly. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.